very exciting that Tristan has been spending all that time with the elephants on foot so close. But we've come to the hyena den and the little one is out. And now going to hide behind some grass. There it is. And there are two adults here that I've seen so far. We came down here, let me move forward again. We came here. Oh, there it is. We came here because we heard the adults calling. <laughs> That's so sweet. I think this little cub has got such a pale face. I'm going to move around now. Just very gently ease our way through and around here. There are three adults here. And I so have missed spending time with hyenas. I'm just trying to get us into a position where I'm not going to skittle them. I think that's going to be about it, Ferg. I'm afraid I don't... I can't get any closer than that. So now we'll wait. The little one is still there behind the bush. He'll come out, I'm sure. I think it's a he, actually. I think he will come out. Here he comes. Hello. And completely fearless when the car's not moving. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Coming to see if there's an oil cap he can chew on. <laughs> Hi, little guy. How's it? That's what we say in South Africa. How's it? What's happening in your life? Hey? What happened to your sister or brother? Going to greet the other one, the adult. This is fantastic. <laughs> now, the reason I say I think this is a male, if you look at his penis or pseudo penis, it's quite pinched at the end. You see that little pinching there. And very pale on the head. Now, during the TV shows, we named them Mtima and Lamula. Who this one is? Well, that's anyone's guess. I think by the time those names were picked, we were already short one of them. Hello. Do you smell something that you like there? Perhaps an oil cap, as I said. There we are. <laughs> That's so special. Now the adult there is looking a little bit reticent about coming towards us and seems to be blind in the right eye. I'd love to know who you think these are. Ribbon the mother. And who's that blind one? Looks like a male to me, just slight, more slightly built. And not, very clearly not very young. And I must confess, it does give a hyena a slightly sinister look. Being blind in one eye. That's interesting. Danielle, you're interested in why it is that these babies, where's the, it's gone under the car, and no, there it is. Why on, fixing the tire, very kind of it. Why they're called 
pups, at least cubs and not pups, are, uh, well, you say why they're called cubs. I'm assuming you think they should be called pups, or intuitively, perhaps, that looks like a pup. And the reason, Danielle, is that they are more closely related to cats than they are to dogs, and actually more closely related to mongoose, interestingly, which <laughs> baby mongoose are called pups. But it's their, it's their relationship to the cats that gives them the name cubs. Ooh, we're going adventuring a little bit now. One of the adults has gone off down this path. Now, Ribbon has just looked up in a slightly menacing fashion towards the blind hyena. And I think the blind one is very wary of Ribbon. I think that's not a dominant at all. All right, we've got something very exciting for you now. We're going to stay right where we are, but Brentleo Smith seems to have found death on the plains. <laughs> 